Hello, my name is Aaron and welcome to another video. Today we're looking at how to swap between Regions NTSC and PAL on Sony Alpha cameras. Now you might be asking, why would you want to swap Regions between cameras? Well, I was thinking this myself until I got this comment here on another video asking about it. Then I looked into it a little more and realised there is a big difference. But before we get started, please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like on this video. So, the big difference between NTSC and PAL on Sony Alpha cameras is on the NTSC region, which is the region for North America, you can actually have a higher frame rate compared to PAL, which is definitely the region for Europe and some of the rest of the world. Now the reason for this is, especially in the UK where I'm based, is that a lot of devices traditionally are broadcast at 50 hertz, which is 50 frames per second, or when you half that, it's 25 frames per second, which is the standard for TV. Whereas in the US, 60 hertz has traditionally been used 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. So this is why these region settings are built into these cameras, which makes sense for more traditional media formats such as TV, but these days, things on YouTube, especially if you're using a 60 hertz or higher monitor, which most will be, then it doesn't make that much difference and it means you can squeeze out an extra 10 frames per second from your camera. Which is really useful if you want to slow the footage down, so if you're recording at 60 frames per second you can half speed it down to 30 frames per second. So to change the setting you go to the main menu and then on setup tab, which is usually the last one, and then on tab 2 on there on the Sony A5100, which I am using, the second setting down is PAL slash NTSC selector. And if you go into there, you can see there you can swap it over. You'll get a warning message. So what I would recommend that you do is that you do not have your memory card in when you do this or at least back it up because I think it will record in a different format on the memory card so I wouldn't take that risk. So just change this setting while the memory card is out. Then it will restart the camera and you, you'll get this warning message here saying running in, in NTSC which unfortunately if you are originally based in the PAL region you, that message will come up every time you use the camera. But it is useful to know that you can get these frame rates which are advertised on the box and it may be a little confusing to see that you can actually only record in 50 frames per second maximum when you're expecting 60. Now this setting on other Sony Alpha cameras you just need to look in this setup option and it's either on tab 2 or tab 3 on the tab as I said on the O5100 it's on tab 2 but you just need to look for that PAL slash NTSC selector in that menu. Now a small warning if you are using this in the UK especially, which also might be applicable to other areas in Europe, is that our lighting systems actually run on 50 hertz, which does mean that if you are recording in 60 or 120 frames per second on some of the higher spec cameras and then you're slowing that footage down or, or doubling the shutter speed so that you can have smooth slow motion video, you may notice that the lights will flicker in your footage and that is because you cannot match the refresh rate, if you call it that, of the lights to the camera. So I would be aware of that maybe if you're going to be lighting, filming in well lit conditions or you just need to test it first to see if that's an issue because it's not going to be the same for all lights but it is a little quirk worth paying attention you wouldn't want to take all your footage and then it be ruined by flickering light but that's just a small consideration to take into account. A really fascinating little tip for Sony Alpha cameras which hopefully some of you will find useful. But a short one from me today, if you've enjoyed the video please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like on it. But until next time, see ya.